So, Knight, what is your thoughts on, uh, what are your thoughts on blue cheese? I don't know. You know how to feel about it? Yeah, I don't really, I don't really know. Yeah, I'm like, all my work, we make, like, pizza with blue cheese. It's like a chicken wing, it, you know, has hot sauce and blue cheese and chicken with it and, like, mixed cheese, and it's really good. But, um... Uh. Yeah, it's like I'm I'm iffy about blue cheese. Like my girlfriend hates blue cheese, but I it depends. It depends on what it's with. Like if it's like with the right chicken with like hot sauce or something, okay. But if not, then meh. Reminds me of my strange my strange addiction to like back in my back in my freshman days. So we had a salad bar. I would yeah. just take black olives and ranches, eat them together. Black olives and ranch. Yeah, that was a weird combo. Oh my god, I, I don't like black olives, but you know, some people like them big time. I don't like black olives or mushrooms. I'm just like, eh, I'll, I'll let everybody else have those. But, anyways, that's gonna be the intro for this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Behind the scenes stuff with it, but what's going on, guys? It's your boy Kimbo here, and it's time for an epic, epic unboxing. I know people are gonna be like, oh my god, long intro and stuff. We're having fun. All right. Gotta have fun with the unboxing sometimes and switch it up and such. But anyways, we got the epic Bakugan Evolution Starter Pack featuring Darkest Serpilius Ultra. Found this while going Baku Bay hunting recently. I was shook, honestly. One of my stores is really good. The other one is behind a bit, but, you know, yeah, they're usually, like, behind big time. But they've gotten better. Huh. It exists for once. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I didn't even know. Like, it's one of those Bakugan. I was like, "Oh, we see Darkest Superior Soldier in the show. It'd be cool if they made it." And somebody said they actually did make it. And then, sure enough, going Baku Bay hunting, found this bad boy. And I was like, "Oh my god, we're picking it up." But yeah, so look at it in Darkest, dude. All the all the pink with it, like the purple pink with the black, dude. It looks amazing. But it also comes with Ventus Colossus and Aurelis Neo. Drago. This is a really on, sick Hang on. Did we, pack. Did we see this, this two pack before in, but as all diamond is my real question. Yes, we did. Um, it was the, It is the diamond pack for this wave, too, which is the ironic part for it, because it's literally the same Bakugan except all as diamonds. But this time, it's like Dark as Ventus and Arliss with it, so yeah, maybe they got, they saw this and they got inspiration. They're like, all right, what what three diamonds should we put in for this? Serpilius, Colossus, regular Colossus, you know, and Neo Drago. And they're like, bet, let's do it. So, yeah, but I don't even mind it, man. It's not even like a re reprint with it. Like, it's just deja vu feeling with it for sure. And look at Serpilius' artwork right there, man. It's got purple flames coming out of it. And then Colossus up there, and then Drago showing up. Like, you got Squad up in here, man. You got some best friends up in here about to put in that work. All right, so we got to check out the back. So, Darkest Apilius Ultra, Ventus Colossus, Arliss, Neo, Drago. So, yeah. Um, then the Bakugan Fan Hub, you can download on the App Store or Google Play. But without further ado, let's get into it. And I think I have to burp. Uh, yep, there it is. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't even need anything today. I don't even need anything yet. You know, that's just like... I, I get super hyperactive during the summer. I mean, in general, I'm just hyperactive. But, like, especially during the summer, I'll eat, like, once a day, honestly. I eat a good amount with that, but I only eat, like, once a day. Um, but, um, eh, ow, frick. Goodness, those plastic strips. All right, get you out of there. And get you out of there. But yeah, I legit will just wake up each day. Like even if I have to like work or such, it's an eight-hour shift. Like I'll I wake up. The usual routine is waking up, getting ready for the day by like showering and such. You, you already know, like hygiene important. Um, and then I'll go and I'll film, and I go and film up until I have to work. And then on the way to my work, I usually schedule videos. So, you know, all the videos I crank beforehand, I schedule them to go out. So like, while I work my day job, the content goes out. So the work, the work goes in a big, in a big time way. 
Does it get tiring at points? Yeah, but you know, I don't I don't really get burnt out much like doing it because I, I love doing this, man. Like it's, it's my therapy. I love it. <laughs> you already know, man. I love making the videos for you guys. But uh yeah, I guess we'll get into yeah, we'll just get into the, the gate card first. Yo, Archilion right there looking like a beast. Hello. And then yo, that's yeah, is that yeah, Serpilius right there. Alright, but <laughs> It's putting in that work, man. Archilion ain't playing. So 500, 200, 0, 400, 100, and 300. So the biggest boost going to Pyrus for this one. Hey, also not being too far behind, but Vent is not getting nothing for this. And if your Bakugan gets a boost on a uh, fist, you know, if it gets an additional bonus on a regular fist, it'll get it if it lands on this gate card. So, yeah. Now we got to get into the cores. So the pro side of things. Still want to see cards. Hashtag we want cards for sure. Like I want to see like Secrets of the Geogon and the GG sets. I don't know if we have an evolution set actually. Like if they planned one. But at least Secrets of the Geogon or whatever the GG set is. Definitely want to see those. But regular fist. Plus 100. Pyrus and Ventus getting plus 3. Very nice regular fist. Minus 200. Minus 2 for the Helix. But there's a Helix in here and that's big. Um, But that's a trap one right there. Then we got the shield here. Uh, plus 300. But yeah like I said that Helix... Pretty good trap helix right there because lowering the b power and also the damage plus 300 for that shield being really nice plus 150 plus four for that flame fist plus 150 plus two and plus 150 plus one for those fists so overall all these floors are definitely good and usable it's really nice seeing that man for sure so now we've got to get into the bakugan which one should i get into first night i'd say all of the neo drago neo drago okay okay he wants to go with the one with, like, the newest mold. All right, so we got Arliss Neo Drago up in here. Some people don't like, uh, you know, the color for, like, the yellow gold for Arliss with this season. I don't mind it. I dig it big time because having more of the yellow with it, just shining bright and such. Um, it reminds me of mustard. <laughs> it reminds you of mustard. <laughs> the paint reminds me of mustard a bit. Um, but, yeah, I personally, I personally don't mind. I think it looks really sick. And plus, having, like, the silver flakes in with it too makes it look really cool but the silver pops with it big time um then you got the gold right there you know like the orange paint right there then you got the silver overall looking really really cool so we gotta get into the opening action for your boy all right so you want to count it down three two one hey and he landed right in the middle the shield right in the middle that was sick all right so check out Neo Drago and Arliss. Overall, all of that, like orange, gold, plastic. It's got silver for the jaw. That looks sick, man. I mean, it's got the horn right there. If I can, if I can get it out, I don't even know if I can. Front part. There we go. Uh, may maybe it doesn't. It, it keeps going back. There we go. There's the horn for it. But yeah. You got Drago and Strength Mode. So Neo Drago being like Strength Mode Drago. And then you got the other Drago. I think they call him just Evo Drago. Um, but that being the Speed Mode for it. But yeah, overall Drago looking sick in Strength Mode. And also the Speed Mode looks really, really cool too. But uh, we got to see where that B power is. What in the fuck? What's the B power actually? 1,000. <laughs> Bro. Straight up, you know he's usable right right away. It don't matter if you take the core or anything away from him. He's a thousand. He's a thousand. This boy's big time strong usable, which makes me happy because I want to see some boost for some Arliss Bakugan. And we got it with Neo Drago, so that makes me really happy. Now, we need to see some damn plus 400 uh, Arliss inclusion cores. You know, like whether it's Pyrus Arliss, Darkest Arliss, Ventus Arliss, Halos Arliss, Aquas Arliss, I don't care. Like, we need some more, like, shields like this that boost it. And same thing with the regular fists. Like, why have we not gotten that for Arliss? I hope we get it with the next season, because Arliss needs a big-time boost, um, in general. Because not having that many cards with it, it's meant to be that faction for balance, yes, and it's understandable with that. Um, you see it by them not even having that many Arliss cards. Like, Arliss has significantly less cards compared to the other factions when it comes to the tcg um at least they could do is like boo boost arliss on the the cores you know make some plus 400 arliss shields some plus three damage uh arliss fists you know but yeah that's the main way of like bouncing out arliss that much more i get not having that many cards with it because of being like the the rarer faction and such you know 
Um, and they still hype that up even with the show. But, yeah, man, just got to boost it a bit more. Arliss deserves some love, man. Love Arliss. You already know. I got a freaking tad of it right there. So, yeah. But um, overall, it's looking so, so cool. Definitely digging this Neo Dragon. It's definitely usable. It makes me hype to see him that for sure, man. He a strong boy. All right, so who are we going to get into next? Coloss Colossus. Bet. All right, so we got Ventus Colossus up in here, y'all, having that red uh, paint on the outside, that swirl. Zonai, that Zonai swirl. I'm really excited for Breath of the Wild, too. I got to make that reference because just seeing the swirls and the green. Yeah, the green swirls, courage, you, you already know. Um, But, uh, yeah, overall, it's looking really sick. Forest green, got the red. You also got the yellow paint on the outside with the lime green plastic. It makes it pop in a major way, dude. It looks really, really cool. Colossus, of course, belonging to Coach Short. Um, it's a really sick Bakugan. It's Short. lettuce. Hmm? It's literal lettuce. Yeah, col col Colossus, col col lettuce. Man's a, sa man's a salad. The giant monster salad Bakugan or something. <laughs> but yeah, you got the Pyrus uh, symbol right there. Well, no, the Ventus symbol right there in the red, not Pyrus. Um, just thinking of Pyrus because of the red. But having the forest green on the outside and then uh, the red for the Ventus faction symbol right there. Overall looking really, really cool. I like the paint application. It makes it look really, really good. I like how they have the application for Colossus. They use a lot of paint with it and it really pops a big time in Ventus. So now... Get that open in action. I guess I'll count this one down. Three, two, one. Hey, and got it in the middle again, man. Hell yeah. Getting those rolls down. Watch, I'm going to mess up the roll for Sepilius just because, but, you know. But Colossus in general, looking like a beefy boy. Ain't playing no games, man. Having the green on the head. Uh, also got the yellow right there for the eyes. And then also for the claws and such. Overall looking really, really sick. Now we got to see how strong this this boy is. Uh, where is it? What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? They all strong. At least these two are strong already. Your boy is 900. Dude, this is this is already a solid pack. Huh? Man, his guesses have been on point today, for sure, man. But 900, that means he's breaking 1,000 regardless, too. So that's a strong boy. They, they're both usable. Like, this pack's already, like, if you're looking for, like, strong Bakugan, like, competitive Bakugan, yeah, it's a solid pack, for sure. They're both usable, for sure. Well, we got to see how Sepilius goes, but so far, it's looking real good, man. This pack's looking really, really good. All right, now we got to get into Sir Pilius. I won't be surprised if it's the one that has the lowest B power out of all of them. <laughs> I don't know. Like but like if it has 100, I hope it has a bonus with it, because I'd be so sad if they made this thing and then they didn't give it, like, good enough stats to where it's usable. I'd be so sad. But uh, Darkest Sir Pilius Ultra on um, the open form looking really, really sick, man. It reminds me of, like, Anchor, Anchor Sor and uh, Hammer Sor, you know, from New Vestroya, just the front designs, you know. With those points right there. But all of the, like, purple-pink they use for the bottom part of the body looks sick. All of the black, uh, darkest plastic, of course. You got the sky blue right there for, uh, you know, kind of like the, the scales right there. And then also in the eyes. The jaw having that same purple-pink. Uh, the darkest symbol right there, like the elemental symbol on the wings. The darkest symbol itself being in that same, like, kind of turquoise. And then the silver on the outside part of the wings. So that's sick. And yup, knew it. Freaking called it. It's got 500. But I feel like it might have an additional effect with it. Because, yeah, they've been doing that with some of these Bakugan, especially with this wave. I hope it does, or it has like a core manipulation effect with it. Because I really want to use it, because it looks so cool in Darkest, man. It looks really, really sick in Darkest. But, yeah, so now we got to get into that closing action. So let's see here. Ahead. Uh, Shoulders, knees, and toes. Well, let's see. Feet back. Head in. Those in. Like the the wings in. Oh, the head. The head. Head. It'd be in a pain. All right. Um. Or maybe. What? Okay. Well. Sepilius is weird. Head in. There we go. There's that. Bop. And then. Bop. And just make it all adjust together. And there we go. 
Darkest Sepilius Ultra in the closed ball form, man. Looking so, so sick. They're probably going to say Ultra Sepilius on the card. But, yeah, I love how they use all, like, the purple, pink, like, the rosy, the big-time, like, rosy purple with it. Looks really, really awesome, man. I dig it for sure. It looks so, so cool in Darkest. But now, we got to see the stats for all of them. I mean, guaranteed Neo, Drago, and Colossus, they're going to be just fine. They're breaking 1,000. The only one I'm worried about is Serpilius, but maybe it has an additional effect with it. All right, so Colossus. That artwork, though, it's in the middle of the jungle, man. Yeah. Um, you know, the Zonai from, Bre from Breath of the Wild, if, you know, back in ancient times they were going around, if they had Bakugan, then they would definitely have this Colossus because look at all those those trees and crap around, man. Literally looks like Pharaon. But, you know, I, I got to put in Zelda references. If you know, you know. But 903. This boy has the Flame Fist. He has the Helix as well. So he's getting up to 1,500, but zeroing out. Or 1,402. So definitely usable. Breaking 1,000. You still have some damage with it. And put in that work. And also, Victor, if you win with it, you remove an enemy Baku core at the end of the battle. So that's a, that's a nice effect, man. He's strong. He's definitely strong and definitely usable. Looking so cool. And then... We got Neo Drago up in here. Look at that hour for Neo Dragonoid. Looking so sick with all the lightning around him. Lightning and the thunder. Um, but looking really cool. 1,003. Has a shield and a regular fist. So, I mean, you put it in a deck with a magic shield. It's getting up to 1,650 and 3. So, he's definitely strong being an Arliss Bakugan. This is what we needed, man. Some big time support for some Arliss Bakugan. Now he's got to get some, like, Arliss cores and such to make him stronger, man. For sure. But... In general, going off this straight away, it would be um uh thirteen yeah thirteen hundred and three, or uh eleven hundred and six or eleven fifty and five. So yeah, it could be diverse. In general, you can go with the damage approach with them if you want to try to get that damage approach, or just go for the B power, which in this case solid with one thousand without a core. So yeah, he's a strong boy, definitely usable. Playing no games at all. And then, oh my god! Alright, I was scared for you. I'm not scared for you anymore. That artwork, though, for Ultra Sepilius looks sick. Look at all the freaking flames around it. Those purple flames look dope. Ultra Sepilius. Double regular fist. 501. But, Knight, this is the kicker. If it lands on a fist, it gets plus 900. Okay, this is already a strong freaking deck. Yeah. Even by itself, like stock wise with just these cards, that's strong. That's that's very strong, dude. Holy crap. They're all very usable. Regular fist deck, definitely big time usable boy. Uh so yeah, what getting up to fifteen well, fifteen fifty. Fifteen fifty and three or 1,504. So, yeah, he's strong. He ain't playing no games, man. Got good B power. Gonna have some pretty good damage with that as well. Definitely usable. I was scared at first. I won't even lie. But having that additional boost with it, hell yeah. They're all usable. This is a very solid pack. You see this pack and you're looking for some strong Bakugan, I recommend picking up this pack. Like, they're balancing them out really, really well, man. They're putting out some strong Bakugan uh, with this, man. But now, we gotta get into that opening action for Darkest uh, Ultra Sepilius. So, you wanna, you wanna count it down? Yes. Three, two, one. Hey! And we got him! <laughs> he landed on the gate card. But, yeah, we got good rolls with all of them. Hell yeah. And plus the... Plus, you gotta keep in mind, this boy having a strong magnet. So, imagine if he has a fist, but then he picks up, like, a magic shield with it. That would be terrifying. That would be absolutely terrifying. That boy getting up to like 2,100. Right away with that. Like that's, yeah. That's crazy. Like, yeah, 2,100 I think. Um. Yeah, 2,150 or 2,200. Oh my god. Yeah, he ain't playing no games. He ain't playing no games at all. None of them are. Like I said, I definitely recommend picking up this patch if, you know... You're looking for some strong background and such, or you're getting right into it, like, oh, hey, um, 
if I go to my store and had to pick up any Bakugan, like somebody that's just getting into the game or such, this pack comes with very strong Bakugan. Every single one breaks a thousand. Um, honestly, Serpilius and Drago being really, really diverse and such. And uh, yeah, even Colossus, like Victor with it, you remove an enemy core. Like they're all usable. They're all really, really strong, man. It's a very solid pack and I definitely recommend. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan Evolution Darkest Serpilius Ultra 3 pack. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. Uh, Knight, do you have any last thoughts on this pack? Really good. I, recommend, I do recommend picking it up, actually. Yeah, I, I would recommend because... He, he likes Serpilius for sure and like Darkest. He's like, does it exist? It exists. Not only does it exist, it's a strong boy. All of them are. But yeah, anyways, guys, till next time, it is your boy Kimbo along with the Knight. Yeah. Yeah. Sign it off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Till then, stay awesome and Bakugan Bro. I'm out of here.